Speaking of the home fans, it's a sellout crowd on hand today to honor former major leaguer Ryan Zimmerman. By Orlando City FC. As Geloff gets a hold of one, drives it to left. Back on it is Hurley. That ball is gone, and Virginia strikes first today. A long one for Jake Geloff, his 17th of the year. And Geloff continuing to climb up the single season record books. He now stands alone in third place all time at Virginia. And he swings and hits one to third off the glove of the diving third baseman, Martini. Coming in to score is Salki, and it's 2-0 Virginia on the RBI base hit for Kyle Teal. Getting for Virginia. And a ground ball right side. That's going to get around Kyle Teal and into right field. Here comes Cody A towards the plate. Throw comes through, but not in time. Great piece of two-strike hitting from Alex Tappan to drive home his 56th RBI of the year. The 2-0 pitch, meanwhile, to Geloff. Swing a line drive into right field. There's a base hit. Kyle Teal around third. He comes to the plate. Ball juggled out in right field. Throw to third is offline, and it's a 4 nothing Wahoo lead. Three consecutive RBI singles from Teal, Tappan, and Geloff. I would imagine. The payoff pitch, swing a line drive to left field. That's going to settle in for a base hit. One run is in as Tappan scores. Right behind him is Geloff, and the Hoos had put together a huge fifth inning. Devin Ortiz makes it a five-run frame. To kind of slow it down, get himself a ground ball. On the ground towards short, O'Farrell flips to second. There's one. Back to first double play. Exactly what Neek was looking for. He gets Donlin to bounce into the 6-4-3. 3-1 pitch. Swing a chopper right side. Charging in Cody A. Not going to be an easy play. Fires to first and got it there in time. Virginia has evened up the series. It's a three-inning save for Brandon Neek. His second save of the year to preserve it for Brian Gursky who gets a well-deserved victory here today.